Hello, everybody. I just forgot to unmute. <laughs> I'm hoping y'all are doing well today. Um, finally got my voice back. It's not 100%, so bear with me. Um, let me know if my voice is too loud as well. Um, I've got my microphone finally kind of a little bit closer to me. Luna's sitting here meowing. All sad because, you know, mom got her craft stuff out and... <laughs> Oh, yeah, you meow and cry. <laughs> Hi, Love Spell. How are you today? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got a little bit of a mouthy kitty this morning. So, yeah, how are you doing today, Love? Oh, you want attention? Is that it? You know Mom's about to craft, so you're going to craft block her. Let me see if I can get her on camera for you guys. I got the camera kind of up a little high. They can barely see you. They can see your paws. Let's see here. Come on. There she is. Yeah, you you're sad. You squeaky sad. <laughs> She's like, I just want attention, Mom. Gotta keep oh. Moving out of camera there, girly. Yeah. I'm, I remembered not to wear all black today so you guys can see her. Hi, Stokey Wear. How are you today? We got our little brat here. She's been crying. But she is, like, so abused. <laughs> you get no loving. You get no treats. Nothing. <laughs> So yeah, I forgot to change the title, so um, I just changed it. We are doing a spring wreath today. We are taking a little break from the latch hook. So, yeah. Have hens who feel hard done by, like Luna Stokeyware says, yep. Yep, let me know if my voice is a little too high. I see it's kind of registering um, a little loud today, but the microphone's a lot closer to me. So, yep. Um, I'm still expecting a package today, so hopefully the doorbell does not kill those who have headphones ears. Um, we'll be taking a lot of drink break uh pauses and stuff because like i said my, my voice is not a hundred percent but yep oh yeah she's she's just starving for attention poor girl i don't know where your treat thing went oh it's all the way over there i will give you some crunchies Yes, I will give you some crunches. You're getting low on them, though. So you guys make these last until Mommy can get more. They were out of stock when I went to order these last time. And, uh... Mm. Oh! I almost have to... Almost had to fall out of the chair to give her treats. But, yeah, these are her favorites. And they help with the uh, hairballs and whatnot. So, those are her crunch uh, favorite crunchy treats. So, Yep, so this wreath I got um, for him, I actually got from Walmart. I got one of the bigger ones um, just because I wanted something a little bigger on my door. I've been putting smaller wreaths on my door and it kind of looked bare. <laughs> so I'm going to try for a bigger one today. And we've got some... Oh, stuff all over. Some floral wreath. 
Uh, I lost my birdie pick. This is uh, a little birdie that came out in a floral arrangement that a friend got me one year. Tail's seen better days, buddy. So that might go on today. But first we're gonna attach the the wreath. We got a little bit extra there. So we just find the one end. And then these zip ties you can pick up from the dollar store. I got these from Walmart too. It was just all part of an order. And let me tell you, they are so nice for attaching stuff to your wreath. And you're going to find the end loop. Oh, no, nope, we can't use that one because it's broke. So we use the next one. And then I like to find the spots where it joins like that. Because that way your stuff won't um, slide around as much. Oh, wrong one. I don't want to go in that one. So, how's everyone's week doing? Going? Oh, Luna wants to help. <laughs> Luna, you, you didn't really help there, honey. <laughs> Hard to get my fingers around there. Everyone having a good week? Got any plans for the rest of your week or um, plans for the weekend? I might meet up with a friend for lunch, depending on how we both feel. Um, he's the, actually the one that accidentally gave me COVID. He didn't realize he had it at the time. He didn't realize until he got tested that uh, he was sick. So, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> but, yep. Let's get this push back up over here so you guys can see a little better what I'm doing. Oh, Shadow Wolf just had asked me to hydrate. All right. Shadow Wolf, I have water, coffee, and pink lemonade. What do you want me to have a drink of? Mind you, I just had a sip of coffee, but that was before you redeemed. How you doing today? Kathleen, another sip of coffee. Today's coffee um, is regular coffee and it has cinnamon French toast creamer. Mm. Which is really good in, it's a Walmart brand. I know I shouldn't sound surprised, but you know. <laughs> It's almost always coffee time. That being said, that is actually what is being delivered today, a new coffee pot. A friend of mine um, believes that if you're gonna drink coffee, you should drink it well. <laughs> and she was gonna send me her old one, but she worried about our mail postal system. And she knows that they like to, um, like to throw things around. So, get that as tight as I can. And then, chop off the back. <laughs> Except when you spill it. Yep. Coffee and crafts go together so well, Shada says. That they do. Coffee and crafts. Absolutely. And it helps with your, you know, sore throat because it's warm. Put that around. 
Uh, I'm hoping you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. I might be off stream. Oh, stream, video, screen. Yes. Bear with me. I slept hard last night, so my brain is in that. Oh, we're going to be in booting screen mode. Hello, um, Icky from North. How are you doing today? Uh, thank you for following. You having a good Wednesday? I was just talking about how I am expecting a new coffee pot today. I can't wait. I've been working with a generic <laughs> Keurig, you know, Walmart brand, and it could it got the job done, you know, I'm not going to lie, it, it, it did okay, but, um, I definitely missed my Keurig, <laughs> so, Silky Wear says, sorry, you seem to be under the impression that my brain is working at all, yeah, I'm at that point right now, too, my brain is still, um, kind of, meh, <laughs> so, and I'm just stealing little flowers from this little bit here. Fill in some of the ones that have fallen off on here. And this little floral uh, piece I got, I think, from a dollar store several, several years ago. So, I'm incorporating some dollar store stuff. Um, Vicky from North says, I've been doing fine. I didn't count my mild headache, what I'm having right now. Oh, no. Yeah, headaches are sucky. Um, so I can completely understand. Oh, there's a little miss. Just a meowing. She's trying to tell you guys how horrible of a life she has. Poor thing. <laughs> but yeah. It's that time of year where, you know, allergies and migraines go hand in hand for a lot of us. And yeah, it sucks. It sucks. So yeah, I'm just zip tying this um, floral wreath uh, or floral vine to the wreath. And that'll give me a little bit of a, um, I guess, fluff to the piece. So that way when I go to start hot gluing stuff to it, there's a little bit of background of hot glue too. Stokyware says, yep, we can see the neglect and desperation that she is afflicted with. Not. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she likes to tell people she's she's abused. You know. Poor kitty. Never gets any attention, you know, never, ever. You know, never gets fed. Vicky from North says, oopsie, you gotta go. Bye, chat and ams. Well, thank you for stopping in and following. I hope you have a wonderful day. little bit of flowers on that because that looks a little bald there. Let's see here. What do we got? We got those. 
Yep, you tell them. You tell them how your mother abuses you. Yep. Oh, I know. It's so horrible, Luna. I'm going to have to put some extra, extra other stuff there. We'll see how much I have left over at the end, and then we'll pull off some flowers from that if there's some available. Oh, I know, honey girl. You tell them. You tell them you, you, you didn't just have crunchy treats. Oh, no. No, because you were crying and mom felt guilty. No. Nudge, nudge. Love it. Yep. She loves to put her paw on me and like, Mom. But Mom. I want treats. <laughs> yeah, that's my Luna. I get that all day long. Like when I'm trying to sleep. Really, honey, give me just a minute. Let me finish attaching this and then we'll give you lovins, okay? Can you wait just a minute? <laughs> She's just giving me this look like, are you really? <laughs> are you really going there, Mom? All right, Stokey, would you like a sticky or a licky for Luna? Oh, I know, honey girl. You are just so depraved. Licky, please? All right, give me just a minute here. I'm gonna just cut off this little piece. And I can take off that rose. So we've got one there. Yes, honey, I know. Auntie Stokey got you something, so just bear with Mommy for one more minute. Yep, one more minute, honey. And we will get you a licky. Oh, I know. It's so horrible to wait. It's not like you, you know, ever, 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 ever get fed. Okay, so we were going to move that there, and this way I can kind of see a little better too, any spots that might need extra flowers. Let's give you one of these. Yes. Oh, you know what this is, don't ya? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Get the spot. Say thank you, Auntie Stokey. Yeah, I know I'm trying to get it to come out. Is it coming out? Okay, it is. <laughs> so I was asking people earlier, uh, anybody have plans for the rest of the week or the weekend? They said I might go out to dinner with a friend. Um, I know I have a friend um, that I haven't seen or spoke to in a couple of days that I'm a little worried about. So I might go and check on her a little later. Unlike most of us who have issues sleeping, she can sleep for days. Say yummy. Yummy. You are getting it all over your face. What is up with you today? Are you pulling a mag rat? She's like, just sque keep squeezing, Mom. 
We're gonna have to pick up some more of these for you. There's more. I like these because they're smaller. The other ones, she doesn't always eat all of them. And it's not like you can put a cap on it and save it. But these seem to be just about the right size for her. The only downside is these give her stinky farts. <laughs> So, yeah, there's that. Alright, there's flower control. No, you can't play with that. <laughs> as much as you want to, you can't play with that. Alright, there's the extra. We might need the leaves. Alright, where else are we a little bald? Ooh, really bald over here. Of that. Hmm. Well, that doesn't want to go on there, so yet yeah, neither really does that. Alright, it did go on. Alright, well, we can use some blue flowers somewhere here, I'm sure. Like, right there. Some of these flowers we can mm. maybe not. No, we cannot have the cutter. Oh, okay, those aren't coming off, but we still have these. So let's find some more spots to put. Just some of the small flowers, and then we got a whole lot of big flowers to put on this. So any really bald spot will be covered up. I just like to kind of start with a little bit of stuff on the wreath to begin with. And one more blue flower. Where are we going to put you? Let's put you right there. There, what I should have been doing is heating up my glue gun. Let's get that plugged in. There we go. Alrighty, so I think we're done with the tie backs, or whatever you want to call these. We can put those over there, and I've got two different ribbons we can um, choose from, so that should be fun. Uh, ads, snooze. What, baby girl? You want the attention, huh? You want the attentions, you poor thing? You never get any loving. Yeah, you never get any loving.
Yeah, other than that, I don't really have much planned for the week. Um, I have a friend, she's getting married in July, and she's already, like, getting stuff around and ready for it, and, you know, she's just kind of a little bit in panic mode, because she wants to make sure everything's perfect, which I understand. The only problem is the rest of her household is sick with the stomach flu. Now, I don't mind helping, but I'm not going to go down when everybody is sick. So I'm going to have to decline on that offer for today. Um, wow, there's a lot of... And not a lot over here. You helping, Mom? Huh, you helping mom? She's like, I'm getting out of the way of mom. There. Definitely needed one there. Uh, I can probably steal this one. To put over here somewhere. If there's a spot. Well, that's not really a spot. There's one. Sorry, I gotta bring it close to my face. <laughs> a little more. It's a little more like it. Oh. That's the thing about some of these, the... Ah! You're not gonna steal that either. Oh. She's trying to be a good girl. <laughs> yeah, avoid. Definitely soaky water. I have been sick enough this year. I don't need to be any more sick. Okay, I did have Um, let's pull this one. Two, maybe stick here. getting there. <laughs> kind of. Maybe. How about you, Stokey? Do you have any plans or anything like that? a little bit more fluffer. <laughs> we even got an extra little blue flower, which we put there. All right, so some of the bunches of flowers I have that I'm going to be putting on today look like that, and then I've got these great big ones like that. So that's what we're going to be trimming and gluing on. Plus I've got some baby breath, some crocus. Um, so yeah, a bunch of different things that we can add on to make it look pretty. And what I typically do is I'll take the flower and push the leaves on up. Oh, we got an ad coming in in about five minutes. That's all right. So I'll push the leaves up. And then trim the stem just so that a little bit of it shows so you can put on some of that hot glue gum um, on it. Ooh. 
That went flying. <laughs> well, Luna, I'm sure we'll play with it. Now, a cool thing about these flowers and the leaves and stuff, if you just lightly run your um, hot air gun over them, you can kind of start to reshape them. So that's kind of cool. All right, blue gun is dripping. We're going to squeeze some blue. And the first spot we're going to try is right there. And we're going to let that sit and dry for a moment. Yep. Get myself some coffee. Hi, Squudge. Hey, hon, I am here just on the phone. No problem. Take your time. I'm gonna, like I said, get some coffee in me. Let's go ahead and snooze that third time. Yes, I know. We're going to put all these on first so we can space them out and see. Oh. Well, I'm going to have to trim that leaf because it is connected. That's okay. Do a little surgery. Let's actually see how many of these we have so that way I know how to space them. This time I held the wire so it didn't go flying. Yeah, mommy. Mommy had to go flying on her. It looks like we might only have three of these. So, good thing I'm checking first. Yeah. Only three. So, we will put... Oh, you have to touch that too, huh? <laughs> try to evenly space them. So this one should probably go here. I see like this one's kind of bent over. You just can kind of hit it with your hot, with your hot air gun and it'll miraculously oh, that one's attached to it um, it will miraculously fluff them out for you so they're not crunchy looking I already need another glue stick to be fair there wasn't much in this one to begin with and that one we will put there Okay, so we're going to let that sit for a minute. Um, finding another glue stick. To be fair, this is a mini glue stick. I would love to get the ones that, the glue sticks that are like extra long. So that way I don't have to keep feeding the thing. All the time. But I have yet to find the extra long ones. I think you have to order them online or go to an after actual craft store for them. All right, so the next ones. I've only got two of these. So we might save those for later to see where we need some special accents. I have four of these. Ooh. 
almost cut that without holding it. And there should be a fourth one. Push that up. Fluff out the panels. And four. One, two, three, four. I guess. <laughs> it works. What will work will work. Okay, come on. Down in there. I really like the glue that I use because it doesn't get real stringy. You know, like how like, you work with glue guns and they're just kind of atrocious. <laughs> and with all the stringy, spider webby from the, the hot glue. Um, these ones are pretty good. say that and there's a big old string. <laughs> so I fiddle around with my um my settings and it looks like I fixed the um the video I don't know exactly what happened that it, it became more fixed but I'm a happy girl I thought it was my video card and it was just some sort of setting that um something in the settings. So, yeah. This is going a lot faster than I thought it was going to. We got three of these. Hi Mel, welcome on in. You're on the phone too? No problem. No problem. I'm just here her in a way. Appreciate y'all being here, you know, spending your time with me. Yeah, and if you have things like lower on the on the stem, you just can push them right on up. Almost grabbed a regular pair of scissors. That wasn't going to help me. already cut. Oh, almost cut it without grabbing it. <laughs> See, I just did some um, fiddling in, in the settings and it seemed to work. I think it was like in the frame per second. So let me know if you guys see anything wonky. I may only use the two of these. So we'll set those aside. Oh my goodness, I 
got so many other extra flowers and stuff. This is going to be a full one. Okay, um, so the two ribbons that I have choose from um, when I get some people back, we've got an Easter egg one with purple background and then just kind of a rainbowy spring spring one to choose from. So we'll take a poll in a little bit. Um, I also got little lights to put on because I love having lights on things. <laughs> so oh, we'll see if we actually do put the lights on or not or whether it's pretty enough without them. Um, I don't think we're going to need these because yeah it's, it's getting pretty full so we're going to put that in the extra bag. We'll keep the little birdie out to the side because he's going to be sitting on one of the flowers. Alright, what do we have next? Um, we got two sprigs of these. So, we'll push everything up to the top. Or as close to the top as we can get. We might only use two of these. But we'll see. just because we have so much that can go on this. Okay, that one's kind of a little sparse. We'll cut her and put her in the extra bag. I don't even know if we're going to need a baby's breath. So there's the extras. Yeah, see how this one has like an extra flower on it? So... Winch it up and trimmer. Okay, so there's one here and one here. So let's put Blue sticker on me. <laughs> and the other one will go here. Oh wow, we've got a lot of these. I think they're called crocus. Oh yeah, a ton of them. So we're probably just gonna like here and there put some oh that's a leaf. Are you being silly and playing with bags now? She loves her paper bags. What I'm doing is just putting a little round circle around it. And fixing here and there. 
Yeah, I got a lot of these. This is going to be a very springy. Eastery. The spring is right around the corner. I like to keep these stems because they're metal or they have wire in them and you can attach things like I had um, butterflies I was going to cut out to put on this and time kind of got away from me and you know how things go. There's another space that... Not today, lady. Well, guess what? More hot glue says yes, you are. <laughs> and we'll stick it right there. All right, I'm actually going to move these out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> We're going to set them right down here next to me so Luna can inspect them and make sure that they're of the right quality to her kitty standards. No, you can't eat them. Don't eat them. No, don't eat them. Please. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> She's like, but they're my flowers. No, baby girl. <laughs> Not today. Alright, where else can we use a little bit of um, it's really bare here. I want to see if I can find something I can add there. Let's add this guy. Blue gun. Right there. There. Now we can continue putting these guys on. Let me tell you guys, I cannot wait for spring. I am so ready. That being said, it's already 63 degrees out and it's supposed to be like near 70. We have had crazy record-breaking highs this past winter. That already had one cut. Oh, 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 oh. drip somewhere on my tool. Yeah. And on my table. <laughs> That's alright. Messes were meant to be made with crafting, right? <laughs> Hi Squatch. How are you doing today, Han? For those that you don't know, Squudgecraft is a paper goddess. Um, no, you can't eat the glue. I know, it looks yummy to you, but no. <laughs> Alright, it looks a little bare here still. Oh my gosh, no I am not too kind lady. You are like, just insanely talented. Um, she also does dot art and diamond painting. She plays games. Um, truly a multi-streamer and crafter. 
Um, this woman talent is just insane. I wish I could do half of what this woman can do. Welcome back, Shadow Wolf. Thank you for the hugs, Mal. I'm going to try using a little bit less glue because, yeah. All right, let's see. We can maybe see a little. How we're doing here. And we're looking, we're looking a little bare right there. Um, what do I have that I can add right there? A little spray of this. I'm not sure what this one's called. <laughs> they didn't really come with names, just flower bunches. Mel Siner says, you're all very clever people, no saying you're not ams. Aww. Shadow uh, Wolf says, been here lurking, just threading stone onto some stretchy bead string stuff. Oh, cool. Shadow Wolf is also a streamer, very talented. He does arts and crafts as well. Um, be sure to give ooh, him and Squedgecraft a follow. Um, so also, if you stream, please let us know in chat so we can give you a shout out. Um, our shout outs are working. Um, when I have a second, I'll start shouting people out. Mel Siner says, you doing more upcycling ju of jewelry, Shada. Yeah, I, let me tell you, that upcycling, beautiful work. Okay. We're looking pretty full. Let's see here. That spot right there is looking a little bare. So let's grab another one of these guys. Fluff up the... I'm still going to get out the baby's breath, maybe just to give it a little bit of accent. Use less glue shell. Gentle on the trigger. As you see, Luna's trying to help. She's batting at the... batting at the cutters here. <laughs> All right, I only have one piece of this, and I think I'm going to use that with the birdie to give him a nice little seat. Do we need any more crocuses? There's a little pair there, but there's already one there. No, oh, it looks pretty Pull up for the crocuses. So let's see what we've got. Oh no, I've got two of these. So let's get in with our extra. Where do we need extra? Maybe there. No rhyme or reason to this, no planning, just kind of putting stuff where it looks cool. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, I do have one of these. Let's see. Anywhere that's really kind of bald? Right there, maybe? And we'll start putting the baby's breath in. And then we'll decide where the little birdie's gonna live. It's actually more bald here. 
Okay, wow. <laughs> we love a bit of winging it on stream. It's looking beautiful, Han said, Squatchcraft. Aww. Mel Cider, uh, oh, I am way far behind. I'm sorry, guys. Let me get back here. Shadow Wolf says, not this time. It's some Palmer clay beads. Not a sweary one this time, though. <laughs> he says, but now you can say that I might have something I can add from my bits bag. Awesome. Mel Cider says, wreath ready for Ostara Easter. I have ne never actually made a wreath. Well, you see, you can see. By, you know, just how I'm doing this, how easy it is. All you need is a glue gun and uh, some zippy ties and floral stuff. And, you know, I've only been streaming how long? About an hour. And, yeah, I mean, the wreaths are already coming together quite nicely. Uh, hi, Tina. Welcome on in. Thank you. She says pretty. Mel Seiner says, ah, nice, can't always be sweary beads at Shadow Wolf, lol, but glad I reminded you about the bits. Um, do, 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 do. Magrat just looked at my phone when Luna chirped just then. Aww, that's awesome. Mel says, hee hee, Magrat wants to play with Luna. Squatchcraft says, the only thing is that the flowers and wreath would cost us about $30 here in the UK. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not going to say how much I put into this wreath because it's, it's a special holiday wreath for Ostara, which is the spring equinox. And I don't have anything for spring to really hang on my door. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to get the bigger wreath. I'm going to buy the bunches of flowers. But you can get stuff at dollar stores and still make it look really great. I mean, like my autumn wreath that I made was all dollar store stuff. So you can buy dollar store stuff and just make it look like a million dollars, you know? Mel says, so glad Jethro pays no attention whatsoever. Uh, oh, yeah, there's our Luna. She's super guys in and saying, mom, give me love. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get out some of that baby's breath and see if we can get some of that on here. And then the birdie in the bow. Uh, that's going to be too much. Yeah, I think the baby's breath is going to be too much. And I think I found the spot for my birdie to sit right here. So, yep, we're not going to use the baby's breath this time. That's alright. There will be other projects, like I'm going to do a summer wreath as well. Because I don't have a summer wreath. I have autumn and winter, but I don't have spring and summer. So, in Michael's, as you can see, is our local, one of our local craft stores. And that's, I got this back when I got my bead haul back in... November or December, when I went kind of a little crazy, cray cray, getting the uh, bead beads. <laughs> All right. Get that put away. Let's see how we're going to do this birdie. I really kind of like the idea of these crossing. No. He might just sit fine. No, we do need something there. Something, something for him to sit on. You know what would be an idea? Um, taking this rose and gluing it right here. And then putting the bird on one of these bigger pink flowers. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. There. That can be the bottom. Or, I got an idea. Whoa! I 
even had a handle on that. Where'd it go, Lena? Good catch. <laughs> or, 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 we can set them like right there. Yep, I think we're going to do that. And don't worry, guys, I'm going to take a picture of this when it's on my door. So that way you can actually see, because I'm noticing. that uh, you can't really see. It's almost like it's too much light. And there he sits. So um, I'm going to take a poll or get you guys' idea. Uh, Squidge says we can't get floral picks for less than $15 each, unfortunately. The sh pound shops don't do anything like that. Squidge, send me a DM. Next time I go to the dollar store, if you want stuff to do wreaths, let me know and I will pick it up for you. Mel says, I have found cheap floral bits in places like b and I just don't like using fake flowers. True. You can dry flowers and do this. That's absolutely fine. All right, people. This is the first ribbon I have. It's got Easter eggs and in purple background. Or I have this spring type. It's got pink, purple, yellow, orange, blue, green, purple, white. There's that one. Which one do you guys think I should use? I'm going to unplug my glue gun because I'm done. And because there is a very interested kitty nearby. Yep, we get choices of what ribbon we're going to use. And the ribbon's going to go up here. So, I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking, which one, um, for the rainbow, yeah, that's what I was thinking too, because it's a little bit thinner, so you like that one, that's what I was kind of thinking too. And we're going to put the ribbon on first and then, I don't know, do you guys think this needs lights? It's so pretty on its own. I don't think it really needs lights. I do know my OCD. All of this stuff is driving me nuts. Oh, we have another one of them. Let's put that there. So if we find a bald spot, we can always put that there. Ah. Get attacked by bits and pieces. Uh, is there a bald spot? There is kind of right here. out of there before the glue gun. Oh no, I need another stick. <laughs> she says if she rushes to get a stick. Ah, yes. And that will go right there. I know I got the other one right here, but this is so full, I don't think you'll notice the repeating too much. So you think the rainbow. Okay. Of course, there is a sticky thing on here. pin to put in that. 
And I'm not going to do a bow or anything like that. I'm just going to do a, a little slip knot so that it can hang. That might be too much. We'll cut it right there. Okay, go over here. Grab a push pin. She's playing with one of her little kitty tubes. It's a fabric tube. And she likes to run in it and make it skitter across the floor. So, alright, we're going to put these two together. Just tie a little knot. Oh, lighter. I'm going to light the ends because they're already starting to fray. And just a little quick run back and forth. We're going to go up to the top here. Uh-oh. We had one escape. Oh, no. Where did you come from? Was it here? Let's see if we will still have blue come out. Escape! Yeah, if it comes out, we can always bring it back in and put on the... glue gun and you just slide it through like that and then it'll hang on the wall or you know wall door if you have a door hanger and shadow wolf says found a charm that i can recycle in the box mail signer but that is there's the Not sure if you can see the little birdie. Right there. And there's our spring wreath. Mel says, oh, uh, there's always one at Shada. And then Mel says, Sanger says, oh, that's gorgeous, Sam. Thank you. Like I said, I'm really kind of proud of this. Um, I might add um, little bits and pieces to it later on. Um, like I said, once I... Um, hang it on my door and you know get some pictures of it I'll post it in my discord but I think it turned out nice and like I said I don't think it really needs lights um, I did have you know a set set aside for that but you know I think I'm kind of happy with how it is cool Shot at the wolf says that's brilliant. Mel Siner gives hugs and kisses. Hugs to you, Mel. Wow. This only took me an hour to do. I had planned on like it take me at least two. Um, I can always get my latch um work uh latch hook stuff out. Um, let me get a sip of coffee. Sorry about that. It, my coffee wheezes. But yeah, I think that turned out really, really, really cool. Like, I'm very happy with it. You know, once it's on the door, I can also see a little better if there's any blank spots or anything like that. And I can, I can put more stuff on. Oh, wow. I had an extra one of these. Huh? I don't know how that happened. Unless it came off from over here but that's all right oh yeah it came off from over here right there all right gotta plug the glue gun back in i must have not glued him down because there wasn't any glue on it glue gun plugged back in shadow wolf says time flies when you're having fun oh yeah yeah like i said I thought this project alone was going to take me at least two hours, 
but nope, that one's not really secured down either, so I'm going to want to do that. While I wait for the blue gun, I'm going to test everything else and make sure, yep, that one needs, yep, yeah, there was four and there's the fourth. <laughs> But thank you, Squudge. Um, she says, it's beautiful, hon. Mel Siner says, exactly, Shada. And when you're being distracted with our weird natter nattering. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I, I really, really like this. The lady across the hall and I are like, almost like we're in a competition. Like, I'll put something up and she has to put up something that's like 10 times better than what I have. And I'm just like, why? Yes, you know, it's beautiful, but don't feel like you have to, um, quote unquote, outdo me because, you know, it, it's not a competition. I hate it when people treat stuff like competition and, you know, it, it's just decorating your door, people. I'm going to put some on the leaves, too. Make sure she really stays. And poop. Poop. Boop. Right there. Yep. And I said this one was a little loose. So we're just going to boop this with some glue. Make sure she stays on. You know that you just don't have a lot to hold on to? There. Alright, that should be more secure. Now we can unplug the glue gun. Yay! There. Uh, Mel Siner says, oh, she's one of those, no need. Yeah, yeah. Like, I put on, um, my uh, winter wreath on there and it had like little bits of presents on it and had lights on it and then um, I had two skis that were crossed that said let it snow that was on one side of my door and the other side of the door I had just like this giant snowflake and that's all I decorated she's on the other side here with flashing lights and a giant wreath and you know a, a, almost a full-size nutcracker and like two of them one on each side of her door and just, it was like so overdone that it was like, why? You know, why do you feel like you have to be better than people? Shadow Wolf says, makes me want to go to boys and charity and see what they have, but I really don't need a new project at the moment, maybe at Halloween. <gasps> oh yeah, I'm gonna be doing a Halloween wreath. Uh, I love El Shada, I know, right? Mel says, Supreme Doom, hi, welcome in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. <coughs> One sec, I got a cough. Yeah, happy lurking. Um, thank you for coming in. Hope you're doing well. Um, like I said, I appreciate the lurkers and the chatters. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I super, super, super appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have some stuff left over that if I wanted to make, like, a small wreath, like, you know, maybe one like that, I could I could probably do that. Squudge says, I made an autumn Halloween one a few years ago and have it permanently hung in the craft room. Awesome. Supreme Dune says, I'm doing great, thanks. I was going to silent raid, but decided to say hello. Aww. Aww. Well, hello, hello, hello. You know, like I said, I, I super appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. It's just, it's awesome. And I'm so happy to have my voice back, even though it's not all the way back. Um, it's, it's most of the way back. So I'm just fixing some of these flowers to... Fluff them up and make them... Make them look a little more full. They're already pretty full, but, you know. 
Supreme Doom says, oh, Raid, I mean, meant Lurk. Sorry, brain sport. No problem. <laughs> but Mel Siner says, haha, you're in caffeinated Viking as well, aren't you, Supreme? <laughs> Supreme says, I'm everywhere. She's like Tina. She's like an everywhere. Uh, Mel Siner says, brain farts need not be apologized for. Yeah, no, definitely not here. You do not need to apologize for brain farts, derps, or anything like that. So, oh guys, I've got some new commands and sounds. Um, if you type like exclamation mark uh, OI, that'll get my attention to let me know that, you know, hey. <laughs> um, I think there's like exclamation mark derp. Adams, guess, guess what? what? We love yeah. you. Aw, thank you, Squudge. Squudge did that for me when she was helping me um, get my um, sounds on, and I hadn't I hadn't heard it yet and didn't even know it was there. And you know what? I love all you guys too. You guys are awesome. Isn't that awesome, Mel? That is like, yeah. Um, guess, guess what? We love yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys. I love you guys too. Like seriously, I appreciate you guys so much. You all have, like, seriously helped me get out of my depression. And it was pretty bad for a while, you know. I, I was struggling hey, hey, for almost a year. Pay attention to chat. chat. Yep, see, pay attention to chat. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of um, new commands. So if you type exclamation mark commands, you can see all the commands that are available for the channel. And there's even, like, if I have a brain derp, you guys can do, like, exclamation mark brain derp. Oh yeah, we've been having a lot of fun, and a huge thank you to Mrs. Mad Ronan and Squudge because they have done so much work behind the scenes and just being very, very, very impatient, or very, very patient with me. Um, so I like super, super appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. So, yep, Brain Derp 1. <laughs> Oh, yep, the onions were blubbering and crying. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, it's just, I'm, I'm like, blown away by, like, you know, everyone's kindness and, and, like I said, patience with me. Because I can't have moments, so. All right, well, let me get the wreath moved. Do not eat this. It is not treats. It's sad I have to remind my cat of that. So the other night we were chilling in um, a friend's stream. And Luna has a crush on one of his kitties. Bear Bear. And he was like, Ams, is Luna around? I'm like, yup. And he turned his camera and there's Bear Bear sleeping on his desk. Luna comes out of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And, oh yeah, there's bacon and coffee commands, Shada. Uh, the lurk sentence along with the brain derp may need looking at. Okay. But yeah, she came running out of nowhere. And was like, Mom, he's on, he's on. And it's like, yeah, I know, honey. He, you know, Armand put him on for you. You know, his daddy put him on for you so you could see him. And he left that camera there um, for probably a good half hour or more for Luna. So that way she could look at her boyfriend. Because we always say a bear bear is her boyfriend. And, of course, she, she um, chooses the mentally challenged ones that, that looks like you know, bathroom cleaner off the, you know, bathtub. Um, Armand has to hide, like, all of his stuff that he thinks the cat may eat because you never know what Bear Bear is going to get into. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Bear Bear is a challenge. <laughs> all right, I'm getting out my... pattern. Now if any of you guys want this pattern, um, I have scanned it and I think I posted it 
somewhere. Um, that's the pattern. It comes with your DMC colors and everything. And that's what the pillow is supposed to look like. Shadow Wolf said, oh, we had a cat like that who had to taste everything. Yeah. Yep. I mean, he's constantly got to keep an eye on this kitty or else, you know. Huh. He's going to be into something. These are the current colors I'm using. Yep. And it all came in this cool little kit. Um, it did come with its own latch hook, but I have one that's kind of, that was my great grandmother's who actually was the one that taught me how to latch hook and it's got a nice wooden handle and everything and it's it feels better in my hand than something Mel says sounds like a cat with pika that's what we thought Shadow Wolf said you thought that by the third bar of soap it would stop no not these kitties <laughs> we, we call them sometimes the mentally challenged kitties but this is how far I've gotten with my rug. I've got the rest of this part here and then this row and then one more row to go. So I'm almost done. Um, you do get yarn fluff. It does shed. So what I just do is basically brush it down with my hand and because it's already kind of in that state where, you know, um, needle felting and it kind of looks like a gray once you get all the colors mixed. I just toss it in a jar and, you know, I'm sure I'll find some use for it when I'm needle felting. I try not to waste anything. <laughs> Miss Rosiekins, hi, welcome in. Thank you for stopping by. How are you today? Mel says it's looking fab. Yes, welcome in, welcome in. Miss Rosiekins is also a fellow streamer. Oh, I gotta start doing shout outs. Ah, there, it would help if I was on. Um, shot a wolf. Swudge. Scoopaloo, hi! Miss Rosiekins. Did I miss anybody? Oh, uh, Tina. Tina was in here. All these people that we just shouted out, um, absolutely amazing people, wonderful streamers. There we go. You're welcome. Yes, I will always, always, always like shout out and support other streamers. I am firm, a firm believer of doing that and uh, being a part of that and everything. So you're welcome, everybody. Hey, you know, you give me shout outs too. So, you know, <laughs> yes, Luna, I know I see you bouncing around. You're excited. Yeah, this is your older brother's pillow we're doing. Yeah. Oh, you can't see her. There she is. Oh, Mel, redeemed, give Luna treats. We're going to go ahead and give her some crunchies. Um, just because she's not doing the, actually doing the stickies. So we'll give her just a couple crunchies. And this is from Auntie Mel. Say thank you, Auntie Mel. We need to get more of these. Let's hope that uh, Walmart has them in stock. Hold on, baby girl. There she goes. Get a little. This rosy kin says, Oh, Luna reminds me of my Luna. Yeah, she's a spoiled baby. Oh yeah, Luna loves, well she loves all of her treats, <laughs> but crunchies, she's happiest about. Oh boy, that didn't help, one sec.
Sometimes I have to switch what I'm drinking. Alright, get that stuff put away. Uh, just getting stuff around to switch all the stuff. These were the colors we were using for this little grid. Mel says, don't uh, choke on your hydration. No. Miss Rosie Kin says, I'm going to Lurk Am's, got some after stream stuff to do. Hey, no problem, Rosie. Thank you so much for joining. Um, definitely make sure you're doing that self care. Um, Yep. She's like, what you doing now, Mom? I'm done with my treats. Are you going to love on me? Yes, we're going to love on her. Scoobaloo says, doing a lurpy turkey too. Be back in a bit. No problem, Scoobaloo. We will be here. I'm actually going to might, um, once I'm done snuggling with Luna, because it's been about an hour and a half. Um, I'm probably going to take a quick, quick break and just get up, stand up, stretch, you know, all that fun stuff. Right, baby girl? Yep. So, and one of the reasons I also really love this, not only because it's a black cat and Ashton was black, but it was always blue butterflies that would land on him. And this had a blue butterfly on it, and I just thought that was... That was perfect. Oh, keep that uncapped. Mel says, sounds like a good plan. It's about time to feed my boy too. Yep. So, Luna, what you doing? Hmm. She's like, no kisses, Mom. You're going to embarrass me. She's like, any other time she wants her kisses. But right now, she's like, no, I don't want them. <laughs> right? No, you're not spoiled. You're not spoiled at all. They can't smell you four counties over. Nope. She's like, Mom, I don't smell. <laughs> Squidge says gotta pop out so I'll see you later alright Squidge thank you for stopping by Mel uh, Signer says oh she is but rightly so <laughs> yep yep you're a little stinker you're so spoiled yep you have to have your foot hang out to the side when you lay down because otherwise it's covered and you look like a little old kitty loaf. Yep, Luna show. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Oh, you can see my my new microphone. <laughs> yep, we're not spoiled. Not at all. Oh. You guys probably can't hear it, but she is absolutely purring so hard that it's rattling my tummy. Yep. She's like, shut up, human, and just pet me. <laughs> Mel says, oh, new mic, how are you getting on with it? It certainly seems to be working well. Uh, yeah, it's working real good now that, you know, I've kind of learned um, some of the settings on it and uh, have it set up right. And, you know, I can definitely see, like, the audio input. I can see, like, wow, it's really coming in good. So, yep. He's a good girl. Yep. 
Yep, and it's got a cool little like option to mute up here. So if like I go to cough, I just push this button and it'll mute it so I'm not coughing in your ears. <laughs> Cause that's not fun. Oh, we got the ear. We got the ear. Oh, there goes the ear and there goes the drool. Ugh. I'm gonna have to change my pants after I'm uh, done streaming cause she's like drooling all over them. Yeah, it is a handy little button. I love it. Like, if I go to go on break, I can hit the mute. And you guys aren't hearing me shuffle around or the toilet flushing or, you know, whatever. We got the ears. Yeah, she normally doesn't mind me messing with her ears as long as I don't um, mess up her ear hairs. And then she gets all angry at me. Don't you? She's like, you just need to keep petting. Yes, my fluffy little void overlord. <laughs> this is what we sit and do all day. Um, I love the mute button on phone calls, Mel says. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to work at two call centers. Let me tell you, there were times I had to mute because otherwise you would hear me laughing. Because some of the things that people would call in for and like, is that under warranty? No, sorry. You know. Sorry an alligator ate your phone or your St. Bernard ate your juke. And now you can, all you can hear is sexy back when the uh, phone rings. <laughs> Yeah, the guy told me that his St. Bernard juke phones were like little bitty phones, you know, back when the small phones were all the fad. And um, he, his ringtone was sexy back. And I'm like, well, how do you know your dog, you know, your St. Bernard ate your, your phone? And he's like, I can hear sexy back playing from him every time I tried to call the phone to find it. And I'm like, you need to take the poor dog to a vet. And no, that's not covered under warranty. You know, it's like, I hope you have insurance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's weird the things animals will eat. But yeah, I, I had to put that. When he said, oh, well, I heard sexy back, my, you know, my dog playing sexy back, and I had to put it on mute because I'm like, oh my God. Y'all won't believe this. <laughs> Yep. Aww. She has her chin rusted on one hand. And she's just looking up at me, giving me those bedroom kitty eyes. And she's just like, love. <laughs> she's like, I let you get an hour and a half work done. Now you got to love on me. And now you're not going to be able to do anything. Mel Sider says, I'm not surprised it was hard not to laugh at that one. Oh, yeah. I mean, we would get some doozy phone calls. And people that would call in and ask if it was under warranty, I'm like, warranty means if there's something defective with the phone, that from the manufacturer it came defective, not what you've done to the phone. If you've done something to the phone or something was done to the phone, that's insurance. Here's that number. I'll be happy to transfer you. Yeah, like calls from emergency rooms for different reasons. It's like, you know, the phone is not meant to be used in that manner. Sorry. Glad the vibrate works great. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> And then I worked the night shifts where, like, we had all the oddballs and stuff like that. And it would get slow at night. And they had this like rubber chicken slingshot. Like you would stretch it and let go. And it would fly across the room. And we, you know, people would catch and play catch with it. Well, I got on a phone call with a guy. And I got hit by the rubber chicken. So not only did you hear the squeaky from the rubber chicken going off. 
you heard me go, oh. and he's like, what happened? And I'm like, like in shock. I didn't know what to say. I'm like, I just got hit with a rubber chicken. And he's like, what? I'm like, I just got hit by a rubber chicken. He died laughing. Died laughing. He thought it was so funny. And I'm like, thanks. <clears throat> One sec. Mel says, why, why do people put things up there that really shouldn't go there, right? And it wasn't just, you know, women that were calling, there were men too. And I'm just like, why? Why would you do that? That don't belong there. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, really? Really? <laughs> I'm going to lower this and see if we can get a little closer. Just so we can see it. So he where says it is it usually is men. Yeah, men, you know, unfortunately have been recipients of the Darwin Award more often than women. Welcome back, Stokey Ware. There, now you can maybe see a little better what I'm doing. All right, so we are on the next five rows. We've got actually, I'm going to do two at a time because that's all I'm probably going to have room for. Uh, three, three, two. So we're going to do just two rows at a time. Mel says, yeah, a lot of men find out about the juice spot there. Yeah. Mel says, and then need a, to use something to stimulate it and don't think it through. Yeah. Yeah. We got so many calls. I can't remember what phone it was. But apparently it had a very, 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 very strong vibrate option on it. And yeah got so many calls from people in the emergency room hi my husband and I'm like not covered <laughs> you know I knew what they were gonna say even before they said it uh, six I need six T Mel Siner says, always do something with a wider base. Go buy a cheap vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just, it floors me. Like, some of the, you know, like, another guy was like, I got mad at my phone and, and shot it up with my shotgun. I'm like, that's not warranty. That's insurance. It's like, really? I mean, like, how, like... I don't know. I just, I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. Stokey Ware says, that's anger management. Yeah. I mean, you get mad at your phone and you shoot it and then expect it to work. And then expect it to be covered under warranty. Because, you know, you couldn't, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't. Mel Siner says, be right back, feeding time at the zoo. Okay, no problem, Mel. Give all your babies snuggles. But yeah, people just, I don't know. Like, having to have warning labels on stuff because people do stupid, sh you know, stupid stuff. And it's like, really? Really hi creatively Emma, how are you today? Welcome on in. Uh oh, ads. I'm sorry everybody.
Oh, I need to add to it, don't I, Emma? Um, Emma says cat butterfly wreath um, and I, I wrote to her we finished the wreath early so moving on to the latch hook yeah ads come on twitch and unfortunately it's a uh, evil and uh, I wish we didn't have to have ads because you know let's face it twitch is getting enough of our money when we stream you really don't need them from the ads but whatever I mean, streamers get a little bit of a cut too, not much, maybe pennies on the stream. There was one time I, um, the one time I streamed for three hours, I didn't get anything from ads. Not a thing, you know? I know ads ran because, you know, it said so. But. Anyways, yes, we finished the wreath early. Let me get it so you can see. It's a big old wreath. There's our little birdie sitting on the flower. So, and then the top we have the holder. So, yep, our spring wreath. I'm really happy with it. And I did splurge a little bit, you know. Um, there was a few dollar store items on it. But there was a lot of stuff that I had gotten from Walmart. You know, because I was like, ooh, this is pretty, ooh, this is pretty. You know, and I didn't really have anything spring decoration to hang on my door. So I was like, I'm going to go out. Now the little birdie did come... Um, someone had sent me a floral arrangement one year for spring. And that little birdie came in the floral arrangement, so I just saved him because I knew eventually, someday, mind you, it was like 15, 20 years later, I'm like, I'm going to use him someday. And guess what? He got used. So. Yep. So with latch hooking, what I do, because my first latch hook, you know, that's how, how it did itself. Um, I do like 10 by 10 squares. And uh, I'm trying to move this so you guys can see. See how I'm working and what I'm working on. Um, but yeah, my, my previous uh, latch hook did 10 by 10 squares, which I am sending that. Killer Kitty wanted it. And it was three little witch hats. Um, you know, it had a cat underneath one and eyeballs underneath the other, and I can't remember what the third one had. Um, but I've got pictures of it. I can post. So, yeah, if you have any artwork you want to share, um, feel free to join the Discord. Right now it's kind of under lockdown. Um, because some naughty business happened last, last year on someone's, um, someone's server and unfortunately it caused a lot of a lot of problems for that person so all to be safe we, you know we uh, a few of us decided to lock down the discord so that way it protected the community and you guys did you know wouldn't be uh taken advantage of thank you create uh emma emma says wreath looks awesome yeah i'm kind of proud of that it took me about an hour and a half to do but in between kitty loving and setting up and whatnot but you always gotta pause your crafts for your for your little furry mascot <laughs> I'm gonna turn this just a little bit there because you don't need to see the top of my desk you know my calendar and uh, all my other little to-do things and all that fun stuff 
uh, created with the Emma said, just clip Luca's nails. Oh my gosh, I have to burrito cat Luna in order to clip her nails. She don't want anything to do with it. Emma says, and he goes to the vet in about an hour. Oh wow, okay. Is he okay? Again, bear with me. I'm like still recovering from losing my voice and everything, so I'm it's still not 100%, but it's getting there. It was well enough that I was like, I'm going to stream. Uh, Emma says he doesn't mind the nail clippings once I catch him. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the other part. They're like, uh oh, human is coming after me. Run! You know, I always think of like you know in the Finding Nemo, the escape. <laughs> yep. So thankfully. Luna has been really good health-wise. You know, no scares or anything like that. She turns five next month, which we are going to have a little stream for her, her little kitty birthday bash. Um, so you guys are all invited to come and hang out. Um, we'll be doing tarot readings. She'll get her birthday cake and her her present, which I'm getting her a cat tower if it. Um, I don't know, I have to measure floor to ceiling because most cat towers only go to nine foot. And my ceilings are kind of high in this apartment. So I want to make sure that if I get a cat tower that, you know, it fits. And it fits securely so that I don't have to worry about little Miss Thang here doing some pole dancing and it falling over. Um, Emma says he's okay now. I had to take him a few weeks ago for a sore on his head. Oh, turns out it was some sort of allergy based sore called eosinophilic granuloma complex, um, in which healed perfectly. The vet visit is just a follow up. Oh, okay. Welcome back, Mal. Emma says they gave him antibiotics and steroids for it. I probably butchered what your poor little you know, what was, uh, Luca was diagnosed with. So, for that I apologize, but I'm so glad he is better. I always feel horrible when animals are, um, you know, they're sick or they're, you know, there's something wrong. Because, you know, they can't tell us what's wrong. And they can't tell us how much pain or discomfort they're in. I mean, you can kind of maybe sort of guess if you, you know, you really, really, really know your animal's personality. But it's like, you know, it's like the poor baby, too, you know? It's like, no. No. So, I could never work at a shelter. Um, for the main reason that I would want to bring all the fur babies home with me. Because I feel that, you know, I feel horrible that they're there and that they need a forever home. So I would like always be bringing home cats and other animals and so I, yeah, I would never ever be able to work or volunteer at a shelter because yeah. <laughs> um, Emma says, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Mel says, hey, I'm just boiling some rice so got you on my phone as well as the laptop. Awesome. Thank you, Mel. Emma says, he's a champ at taking pills too. Stokeyware says, no, your eosinophilic was spot on. Awesome. Eosinophilic. Yeah. Awesome. I try. Um, as a child, if we complained that we were bored, mom would throw dictionaries and encyclopedias and books at us. So, you know, from a very young age, I had, you know, I had quite the insane vocabulary. Um, my brother, however, just kind of used the books to sleep on. <laughs> You know, we, 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 won't, we won't talk about my brother. <laughs> no, no, I'm surprised he was even able to reproduce. Oh, coffee's empty. Oh, I was going to take a break before I did this. Guys, I'm sorry. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a break. Uh, make sure you stretch, get your drinks and refills, uh, go potty, whatever you need to do. Um, we'll be back in just a couple of moments, and I need to stretch too because, you know, my back is starting to, like, seriously bitch me. But I will be right back. Mel says, you, ha ha, you hadn't yet. I should have reminded you. Oh, no, that's okay, Mel. But thank you. You know, I super appreciate you. So, all right, we're going to go to the Be Right Back screen, and we will be right back.
All right, folks, I am back. Hopefully you had time to go do what you needed to do. If not, that's all right. We will still be here. I am going to find my heating pad, which is right here, and use that for my back. So Mel, what are you having with your rice? I asked this earlier, but um, not a lot of people were in stream yet. Anyone have any plans for the rest of their week or the weekend? Um, I'm going to, like I said, go with a, uh, possibly um, go with a friend for either lunch or dinner. Um, waiting to hear back from her on that. I have another friend that wants to go to dinner. And then another friend who... Um, is getting married in July, wants me to help her make her veil, but everybody and everyone else in her house has the stomach bug, and I don't want to be exposed to that because, you know, I'm, I'm immunocompromised, um, so for me to be exposed to that, chances are I'm going to get the stomach bug, and yeah, no, I don't know, no, nope, I don't want to be so sick it's coming out of both ends, which is what is the household it's going through so I think it's you know better safe than sorry to just say no <laughs> Emmy, uh, Emma says I made some yip yips and uh, crochet oh that's awesome I love yip yips that's a childhood reminder let me tell you it takes me back <laughs> uh, can you have an invite to the discord absolutely Emma let me get that for you uh, do, 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 do. General create invite uh, copy and let me send you a quick whisper. All right, I'm sending you a whisper for the invite to my Discord. There we go. You should get that. Um, let me know if you got that, Emma. Um, yeah, it looks like it's sent. Yeah, absolutely. I love having people join the Discord. It's, it's kind of quiet. We do occasionally get some chitter-chatter that goes on. I'm going to push that up a little more. Awesome! Yay! That way I can do three this time because that's all I have left for the square is three. And then I have, I think, two and a half left of this row and then this row will be done. Oh, you posted the yip yips. All right, I don't know how to show that on stream yet, but let me take a look. Arts and crafts. I love them. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yep, that brings back memories. Oh my gosh. They are so cool. Let me give you a shout out to Emma. Do you do you stream? I can't remember just in case you do now that it's irk for food <laughs> not often well let me go ahead and give you a shout out still oh i need to be on send a message <laughs> that would help now wouldn't it yeah again guys if you stream let me know so i can give you a shout out <coughs> Sh 
Shada is lurking. Enjoy your lurk. Yeah, it's uh, dinner time for a lot of people um, across the pond and stuff, and it's past lunchtime here, but I had a late breakfast, so I should be okay. You're welcome, Emma. Anytime. Anytime. You also posted the cat tax. Ooh, let me see, let me see. Ooh. That's... Aww. He's so gorgeous. Aww. Little black and white tuxedo kitty. I love black and white kitties. They are so awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we are working on these last two rows. Uh, eights. Uh, there's two eights on that row. One eight at the end of the third row. Or no, second row. Third row has two. Uh, Emma says he's such a good boy. Oh, he looks it. I'm just so snuggly. Mel says, gotta pay the cat, uh, the kitty tax. Yup, yup. We gotta see all the babies. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, there's an eight at the beginning of that one, too. Sometimes I get confused. <laughs> You know, I try to set up more than one row of things, and all right, T. And I get a little ahead of myself. My brain kind of goes derp a derp a derp a derp. So let's see here, three. So there's. Seven, two, four, six, and seven. And the cool thing about this is um, the color chart at the bottom also gives the DMC colors. So if you wanted to um, do this in cross stitch, you could. Right, there's seven there too. like I grabbed from no oh, that's right what am I doing here yeah I need T not J <sighs> brain derp probably mess this up more than likely all right in the final row we need two four six uh Mel says or in diamond art if you have enough of the drills brain dirt yep but T and J took virtually identical. Yep. Uh, three Twitch friends and my mom agreed that the crochet yip yips would be an amazing way to hold shopping bags. Oh, I agree. Yeah, Emma. Mel says, oof, hate it when that happens, Stokey. Emma says, but my state banned the use of plastic shopping bags. Same here. 
Uh, Stokey says bigger and they could do laundry. Yeah. What did I say I needed for this one? Six. Two. Three, four, five. Six. Emma says, I would love the yip yip to come alive and do my laundry. Ah, yeah. I got so much laundry I need to do. It is crazy. Alright, so now we need you. And there is two there. And one there. Now, after I lay these down, I always count to make sure I have the right amount because I get going across the rows and all of a sudden I'm short and I'm like, all right, where am I short? So I always count them out. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! We got tens all around. <laughs> Mel says, haha, wouldn't we all? And Stokey Ware says, and we have had so much rain, getting laundry done is a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, Mel says, yeah, my radiators are covered with laundry today. Yeah, we have um, a little laundry room downstairs. Now, mind you, we have 78 apartments, okay? We have four washers and four dryers, and half the time, only one or two washers work and we're lucky if we have any dryers work you think with it being an apartment complex they would be a little wiser and um have more washers and dryers that way we could all do them but no they have like now limited it to well you can only use one washer and one dryer once a day you know or once a week or you know and it's like uh excuse me we're paying to do our laundry you know, um, that says, uh, Mel says, geez, that's ridiculous. Emma says, well, that's a lot of work for those washers and dryers. Yeah, and they're always breaking down. And they put, you know, they band-aid fix them and then blame the residents for breaking them. And it's like, no, we're not breaking them. That does not. Yeah, that's J. Uh, so let's see here. One, two, three. So there's seven of these. That looks right. Four, six, seven. I should look closer before I grab. Um, Mel says they will be for doing that many loads all the time. Yeah, they're constantly running. So I'll go down at like three o'clock in the morning when there's nobody there and then do my laundry. You know, I can usually get, you know, two loads done you know, between the 3 a.m. and the 7 a.m. mark. But it's like, oh, it's just such a hassle. And then laundry builds up. And I do have a laundry, um, oh, building. I, I don't want to say shop. Um, it's down around the corner. It's about a block and a half away. And, um, Bear with me, guys. I'm getting notifications left, right, and center here. I'm expecting that package, and let me tell you, I don't want to... It says it's out for delivery. and should be arriving today before 8 p.m. But yeah, there's a little laundry mat down around the corner, so during, you know, the summer... I can load up my wagon, go down around, and it's cheaper because it's a, um, they charge us a dollar seventy-five to wash and a dollar seventy-five to dry. And half the time, the one drying cycle isn't even enough to dry them all, so they're making bank all off of us. So to tell us, oh, we're bankrupt or we don't have money, bull, because that those washers and dryers are going around twenty-four-seven. 
you know, the amount of rent they charge us, you know, they're making bank off of that. They just don't want to spend the money so that we have enough washers and dryers for everybody. I mean, we have room um, when you get up off the elevators that we could have a little laundry room on each and every floor, but they don't want to do that either because, you know, common sense. Um, Mel says, so glad I have my own washer and dryer. I don't like using the dryer, especially if my heating is on anyways. Emma says, we have a laundromat cafe in my town. Ooh, I wish we had one of them. Um, but we have our own washer and dryer. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people do, but we're not allowed to have it because, you know, we're, we're an apartment complex, 78 apartments, and we do have some idiots that live in my building. Like, there was one woman that something caught fire on her stove and she thought that was a great time to go downstairs and do laundry and then when people called the fire department because there was billows of smoke coming out of her apartment all of a sudden she was worried about her cat oh my cat woman you left that cat in there with the stove on fire to go do laundry like why are you crying my cat now you should have been worried about it before you you should have been worried about the fire even before you left your apartment and it's like, oh. Sorry. Needed a drink. Um, Stokey says, most of my clothes can't be dried in the dryer. Yeah. I do have stuff that can't be dried in the dryer. You know, but, you know, we're not allowed to have clotheslines on our balconies or patio. You know, anything that would make sense, you know, the last manager banned. You know, I mean, we had smoking areas that, you know, we didn't have to walk across icy parking lots or whatnot. That was a nice little area that we could have, you know, sit down and have our cigarettes. Nope. That was taken away. Mel says, ah, that's always an issue too, Stokey. Yep. By the way, guys, how has the video been on um, this, uh, this stream? Have you noticed any flickering or any weird artifacts or anything? Um, it's been looking great on my end, like not a single flicker, which makes me really happy. But I don't know what you guys are seeing. Because I know the bottom half would have that little artifact where it would flicker. Uh, Emma says, nope, and Mel says, uh, nope, not seeing anything weird today, and Stokey says, nothing that I've seen. Awesome! We may have fixed it. That makes me so happy. Thank you, guys. Sometimes you fiddle around in the settings, you know, there are some things that make sense to me and, you know, sound familiar. I'm like, oh, well, let's see. Let's see if this works. And I think what it was is the frames per second was too much for either the camera or the video card and it caused that weird artifact which means I might be able to switch back to my HD camera instead of this one which you know this one's okay but it's not you know it focuses pretty quickly you know and I, I don't do games so I don't need that high frame rate Mel says maybe it was trying to tell you you were poorly and not to stream yeah, but, uh, you know, I love hanging out with you guys, like, you guys are, like, the best part of my day, and just being able to hang out with y'all is awesome, so, I am noticing my voice is getting a little more rough, so I might finish up this, uh, square here, and then we'll find us someone to go raid. Um, while I finish this up, if you guys want to take a look at your follower list, the people you follow, if you see someone cool that you want us to raid in on, um, absolutely let me know. Mel says, haha, I know, hon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like, just, I love hanging out with y'all. So... Luna says, me too, even though I've been a little brat. <laughs> yeah, I already hung up the, yeah, I, I hung up when I um, went on break. I went ahead and hung up the wreath, which looks awesome on my door. I am so happy with it. Um, I'll uh, download that from my phone, and so that way I can put it in on Discord. 
Mel says we love it too. Aww. Uh oh, she's crying. Are you abused? Is that what you're saying? Are you abused? She's like, look at me, humans. I'm so abused. Oh, Emma, um, redeemed guide the raid. Adams, guess, guess what? what? We love you. you. Aww. Love you guys, too. I do, I do. <laughs> Alright, Emma, who do you want me to raid? Aw, listen to the crying kitty. I will give you love in soon, I promise. We will snuggle after this, I promise. You know we're gonna snuggle. Oh, well, she's like, no, don't kiss me. Moco made. Okay, we can do that. Absolutely, we can do that. Is that how it's spelled? Oh, yeah, the Moco siblings are awesome. Um, I think the, I can't remember her name. Um, the sister was uh, pregnant, yes? Did she have her baby yet? I do know the Mokos. I've hung out in their uh, stream a couple times. Stokeyware says, I want full attention, not just part. Yeah. Yeah, normally she loves her kisses and snuggles, but she's like, no, nope, you're not touching me. And don't embarrass me. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like, you know, I, I feel like she's a teenager sometimes. And she gets moody and... Yep. Pats me on the arm and is like, come on, Mom. Almost, honey. We are almost there. Uh, Emma says, baby is four months old. Mel says, you've not seen them since Ray was born. No, I have not. I have not. Um, I've been kind of mostly a little low-key on, on hanging out. You know, there there are definite streams that, you know, no matter how I am, I will hang out and chat. But when I get really bad, it's kind of like, you know, that circle gets gets small on who I, uh, who I visit and stuff just because, you know, mental health is, uh, is, is a struggle. Uh, Emma says Ray is adorable and Mel says she's beautiful. Aww. All right, Luna, I will give you, I will give you some nuggets, okay? Okay, and now she's like, of course, I'm going to have to get on your lap now. You know. Got to get on your lap. Mel says, yeah, when they're busy, they can be too much. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of energy there, and sometimes it's, it's nothing against anybody who is high energy. That's awesome. I wish I could be that way. But kind of like with when my mental health takes a, takes a shit. Um, I can't handle certain things like very, very hyper people. I just, it's like I shut down and a wall goes up. So, and I don't want to be like that in, in chat and bring chat down or anything like that. So I, I try to tend to be like with very much more chill people and hang out with them. And um, she's back to, back to being on the arm of the chair. So, yep. As you can see, a little bit of a butterfly pattern. So, still a little bit of a fibro flaring up. She's like, I gotta find the perfect spot. To chill. You can see her little, her little white spot when she grooms it just right. It's a shape of a heart. It's just like, oh, yep, she has my heart. And now she has a heart. And yeah. I, I get sappy and weird. So, alright, I am going to get another drink. Got my glue gun. So, yeah, it looked real good on the, um, the wreath looked real good on the door. There's nothing I really need to add. 
so I can put my glue gun and stuff away. And Luna's going to be like, but you're putting crafts away, Mom. We're supposed to be doing crafts. Sweetheart, I, I promise. We are doing crafts. We are doing so many crafts that I can't keep track of everything anymore. Uh, Mel says, oh, bless you, not surprised you're flaring with being poorly yeah and we had rain yesterday or not yesterday the day before and then sunny and gorgeous and with the weather flip-flopping like that you know that throws me into a flare up so it can be a gorgeous day out but because you know the weather flip-flops i'm gonna be miserable so oh that's gotta go to D -d 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 -d. this is why i put my glue gun on it's got wax paper on it and it's just a little little piece of board and stuff that oh, I'm gonna need to put on new wax paper. So I don't know why I'm picking off the wax now. Um, yeah. It's like, I gotta see what you're doing, Mom. <laughs> yep, see? She's like, love me now. <laughs> yep. Love me right now, she says. Yeah, yeah. I've got another whole bag of uh, wreath making stuff over here, and so maybe we'll do a summer one when uh, June comes around. Uh, so. And then I'll probably be making wreaths for everybody for Christmas. Or not everybody, but for those who didn't get a wreath last Christmas. I'm going to make a wreath for this Christmas. And then figure out something for people who didn't, or who got a wreath last Christmas. They'll probably either get candles or, or something. Something along, you know, handmade along those lines. Um... There's only one or two people I actually buy gifts for because, you know, um, it might be something they requested me to get or there's something that they uh, really want. Um, like I have a friend that collects My Little Ponies and I'm like, well, send me a list of ones you don't have and I'll see if I can find them, you know, and that'll be your, you know, I'll get them for your birthday and your Christmas. Because Healy comes up to New York around um, once a year around Christmas time and his birthday is this month I think yeah it's right around the corner so oh that heating pad feels so good <laughs> I had hoped to be able to stream until um, Squudge was on but yeah there's no way I'm making I'm not making that. So, but yeah, we are going to go to Moco Made. Um, I'm pretty sure I, f I have them on my follow. But I will double check and make sure how it's spelled. Uh, Emma says, Lurk leaving for bedtime. Okay. Alrighty. Hope the checkup goes well for your little fur baby. We are almost done with this square. So I had hoped to have this done by the time Supreme Doom's um raid train event was over but I was really sick for two days of it and had no voice and just wasn't feeling feeling it for the most part so but you know what that's all right we are almost done we're in the last home stretch we finished this row and then the row up here and we are done then we stuff the pillow and he likes the pictures. <laughs> Mel says, good luck at the vets. Yep. All right, folks. 
Last little bit of yarn is going in. Do, 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 do. Ah. There we go. And then we will see how we're doing. Look at that. And this yarn is so soft. Like um, the other yarn for the the witch's hats, it was a little bit rough, but it's it's a it, you know it was meant to be a rug. This is um, a pillowcase cover. Yeah, look at all that fluff coming up. But it's easy to gather up and um, put in a collection jar. <laughs> Yep, yeah, we have just this left, and then this is, um, you know, another row of um, 10 by 10 uh, squares, and then we're done. So I, about a day and a half, two days, I should be done. Um, I'll probably work on it some tonight, and then uh, tomorrow, if I stream, um, I might work on it then, too. Um, we have um, Killer Kitty has been really, really, really um, sick. So, um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to work on her project, but once she starts to feel better, we'll, we'll, blah, blah, we will return to that project. Um, Mel says, ah, you need to rest and look after yourself, hon. These things happen. Yeah. And then she says, floofy soft pillow. It's going to be gorgeous. Oh, yeah, thank you. I agree. Um, oh, let's get it a little more so you guys can see. And it's a decent-sized pillow. You know, so, yep. You see, like I said, the little butterflies, which, you know, mean a lot to me because, um, like I said, whenever Ashton and I would sit outside, butterflies would just land on him. He'd sit there and purr and just meow a little bit. Um, his meow is broken, so all he do is make this little beeping sound. So one of my nicknames for him was Beeper. So, yep, once we're done with this, we're going to stuff it and put his little whiskers in it that, you know, he would drop whiskers throughout the years and I would collect them and stuff. Because so I knew I would want to do a memorial piece for him. And this is the memorial piece. And we're almost done. Mel says, I really hope Killer Kitty feels better soon than missing her. I know we all have been missing her. And the other night she apologized for, like, not being around. And we're like, hey, look, you've been sick. It's understandable. Um, let's see here. So, let's go to the stream ending so we don't get any raids. And let me get do, 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 do that raid in. Um, let me scooch this back down. So I can do our... Oh wrong button. At, yep, no, co, made. Oh, we need our, that's our raid call. And there's the thing for the raid. So, Everybody, thank you so, so much for uh, um, being here today, whether you lurked, chatted, um, you know, worked along with me or whatever, um, you know, whatever, you know, um, just your, your presence being here has been, has been amazing. And thank you so much. Mel says, oh, bless her. If you talk to her, send her my love, please. I don't want to pester her if she's poorly. Yeah, she, I mean... I haven't been pestering her either just because of the same thing. But, you know, I do check in on her from time to time. And she does kind of up, up, update us when she's able to. Um, right now she's dealing with, like, really bad migraines and being sick and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just all the, all the good energy to her that she feels better soon. All right. I'm going to go ahead and send us off to... Moco made. 
Um, if you can, go ahead and copy that um, raid call. And you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you again for being in my life. Know that you are loved and appreciated. You guys all take care, and we will see you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.